Hey y'all, it's me Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas and I have this really super cute little cactus. It's called a Fralia castania and as you can see it is a little flat purple sea urchin looking thing and it's super cute. I had uh, been watching it closely of course like I do most of my plants and noticed that it was forming a little flower bud, this little fuzzy thing. Um, and I watched it and I watched it and I watched it and I was so excited to see what the flower would look like. Um, but somebody, I replied to one of my posts and, and a picture of it on Twitter and was like, yo, these don't always flower. Um, if they do, it's kind of rare. So don't be terribly disappointed if your flower doesn't open. And so I was like, well, you know, I'm going to try and respect that but I'm also going to try and encourage it and I would walk by it sing it little songs and word, give it words of encouragement but um, I went and checked on it today and this little flower bud just kind of fell off now hopefully there are seeds in this little thing and we're going to open it up and see because these guys are what is called cleistogamous and in cleistogamy that means that it's a closed, it, that literally is like Greek for like closed marriage. And what that means is this flower is self-pollinating and um, hopefully it has produced seeds inside of here. So we are going to open it up and hope there's seeds in there. Um, if it does bloom, when they do bloom, they're this you know nice little yellow flower. Um, and the interesting thing is I do still see some fuzz down in the center right here. That wasn't there before uh, when I first got the plant, but I think it's just left over from the previous bloom. I don't think that it's a new flower pod forming, but you know, time will tell. So let's go crack this little baby open and maybe we have some seeds inside. I heard they're pretty big for, for succulent seeds. Uh, so hopefully we have a little jackpot in here. Let's go see. All right, well, Here's hoping for seeds. I have a little seed bag ready and I'm just going to use these little pruning shear things and crack it open. Let's see what's inside. And I'm going to try not to block the view. So I'm going to just kind of look, they're already, it's opening real easily. Whoa, you know what? Whoa, hold on. They're like spilling out. Ah, they're, they're literally like, I feel like they're almost jumping. Wow, that was cool. So we have seeds, yay. I did not, oh, those really are big. Sweet. Um, no, the wind. Okay, I'm gonna bag these up real quick because I don't have anything set up to actually pop them up in. Make sure there's nothing else. Oh, there's another one. They really, you can like, I kid you not, they, they almost felt like they were popping out of this pod. And I guess they were like just opening up a little bit, um, gave them some room to expand. I don't know, that was really cool. So, okay, these are big, oh. They have like a little indent. They kind of look like a little tiny coffee bean. Interesting. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to scoop these up into this little bag. And I've already made like a lot of videos on how to start cactus seeds and all the soils and stuff like that. I kind of want to leave this one out. <laughs> it's like, well, that was, that was cool. I mean, at least at least we have seeds. Didn't get to see the flower. When I push on this one, it kind of feels like, I don't know, almost hollow. I don't know. I'm just curious as to what, kind of what it looks like and feels like inside. All right. And I guess, even though there are seeds, maybe it doesn't necessarily mean that they're viable, but, we will find out, and I will report back. I think I'm gonna try and find something to uh, start these in today. So give me something to look forward to, because it's heating up in Houston, and things are gonna start slowing down growth-wise, the hotter it gets. 
I guess kind of boring. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, well, that was fun. A little surprise seed pod, even though it didn't flower. But this is like such a cute plant. It is so cute. And can you imagine like, it's already small. This is probably full grown. They don't get very big. And I would just I love the detail on it. It's adorable. It's an absolute, it's just adorable. And I got this from a local nursery for like 14 bucks, I believe, which is a pretty good deal for a nice little species like this. In really good shape. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And I hope you like this little Fralia. And of course, if you haven't already heard the news, or even if you have, I'm going to tell you anyways. <laughs> Um, my book, The Succulent Manual, is out as a paperback, and the links to all the different versions are in the video description below. And, um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It's super, super, super helpful. And that's it. And have a lovely day.